another episode of Sassy Sales Ops. I am Hillary Kay and I'll be your host today. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about uh, lightning page layouts, how to create different page layouts, share them with separate profiles, right? Cause you might want to have your sales managers have a different view when they log in versus your sales reps versus your customer success reps. So we'll go ahead and show you how to uh, save different page layouts to uh, different profiles. And then I'll go ahead and clone and show you how to do that. As always, if you like this channel, like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get notifications every time I come out with a new video. So here we're gonna jump in. I am in my developer org through Trailhead. Once you come in here and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and create, <clears throat> excuse me, a page layout for, for the home page. They're always gonna come out with defaulted ones. So this one is the, the default homepage. But if I wanted to go in and edit this, you'll hit the little gear icon, hit edit page, and this is the page builder on the inside. So um, you'll see that this is the canvas of the page layout. And as I hover over these, these are called components. You can click into these, move these around to wherever you'd like to see them. Over here is all of the components that you have options to drag and drop onto your canvas. And then over here is going to be when you click into these, you're going to have uh, the ability to change what you see, add a filter, etc. You can um, go in here and change those. Once you get a bunch of page layouts built, um, again, I'm in my developer org, so I don't have any listed here, but you can switch pages. So right here, I'm on the, the home page default. Um, once you start building up pages, you'll have them listed here, or you can go ahead and hit open page because I think these are only the, you know, the most recent ones you've looked at. Also, if you want to create a new, new page, you can do that here. I'll get into that um, in just a minute after we kind of build this and I'll show you how to, to go in and clone these. Um, but here, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, pretend I'm building a homepage for, for some of my managers. So as I go in, uh, a few of these, you know, you can, you know, play with these components. Every org is different, um, but I like to chatter feed, right? I think I added the chatter feed already. So this is, if you want a, a chatter feed, if your org uses chatter, you can put that here. So as soon as they log in, you're going to be seeing that. And then you can also drag and drop. I also like to do dashboards. So I, again, I don't have any dashboards created in this org, but if I did, you can click on these and your options of the dashboard links will pop up here. So you can choose which dashboard um, link you want to include. So whatever is important to your users when you want them to log in, those are the dashboards that I would link here. Continuing to go through, I do have approval processes. So for my managers that log in who need to approve things, I'm going to put the items to approve component in here. Again, so those things will pop up as soon as they log in. Maybe some key deals, right? We're gonna wanna see key deals that come in here, um, opportunities, any list view that you've created for them, you can link in here. Maybe they wanna see some report charts um, today's events, right? Um, that's more for uh, your sales reps if they're creating events or tasks. If they do task manager within Salesforce, you can drag and drop those uh, right in here. So after I'm done building this how I want to see it, um, you can go ahead and hit save. I have already activated this once, but once you save a page for the first time, this activation box is going to pop up because you do have to activate these uh, pages. And all that means is, right, we can set this as the new org default, which I've already done when I was practicing this video. So you can say, instead of the default that Salesforce gives me out of the box, this is the one I wanna use as the org default. You also have a few other options here. So you can say, you know, you can build a different page layout for all the different apps that your users are logging into, right? Either sales, customer success, or, you know, whatever apps you've built in, in, in Salesforce, you can assign different layouts pages to that, or you can do apps and profiles. So I like this one. And again, if I'm using this for my sales managers, they log into the sales app uh, originally 
So if I go in, I'm gonna go ahead and find my, you know, the sales manager profile that I have all of my sales managers on. So you can, this is how you come in here and you save it for specific profiles. Once they log in, you can go ahead and just click different profiles. So those specific people on those profiles are going to see this page when they log in. And then you'll just double click, make sure you hit save. And once you go back into your homepage, right, everything that you have built shows up. Now I'm gonna go back in here and go ahead and show you now um, that I do have, right, the one, one page here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click new page. And you can either do an app page, home page, record page, right? So um, just depending on, right, we're on the home page right now, so maybe I wanna create a new home page for my sales reps. You can create an app page, so whenever you're opening specific apps, you can click that, or even a record page. So the record page are very similar to home pages that we've just reviewed, except for the actual page layouts, those same page layouts you're creating with inside of Classic or in Lightning, those are going to be able to um, show up in, in your pages in Lightning. So if I wanted to create a new home page, I can just create this, so, and maybe add some extra, extra things here. Um, you do have the ability to change the template if you'd like, um, or you can clone uh, the, the, the default page that you we, we just created. So depending on, um, you know, if you want a blank canvas or you just want to clone the one that we um, had already done, you can do that. And again, that's just an easy way to take one, right, that's kind of already built. Um, and then you can just drag and drop your new components in here, however you need. Again, you'll go ahead and save that. Um, I hadn't activated this new one yet, so this was the box that didn't pop up the first time that I showed you. Again, you can go in and assign this to two different um, profiles and sales reps, you know, your, your sales apps, and so on. So again, that's just that review here. And that's it. That's how you go in and um, save page layouts and save them to different profiles in your org. Again, if you like this video and wanna to continue to get notified when I create new ones, go ahead and hit subscribe down on the bottom of this, this video and I will uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining.